Hi, everyone. I'm here today to talk to you about how I brought these two worlds together on one platform to empower Indigenous communities. My name is Grace Lillian Lee. I'm a fashion designer, artist, and curator. My journey began with connecting with my lineage in 2010 when I took my grandmother back to the Torres Straits. She hadn't returned for 57 years. My grandfather, Chinese, and my grandmother from the Torres Straits brought their children up identifying with being of Chinese descent because in the 1950s, it was better not to be known as Indigenous. I stand before you today as a proud multicultural Australian woman. My mother, German, Danish, English, and my father of Torres Strait Island and Chinese descent. Taking my grandmother back to the Torres Straits was an amazing experience because not only was it amazing to meet family that I'd never met before, but I got to learn that I this was something that was suppressed and it saddened me. So I wanted to enable and create opportunities for people like myself to be able to connect with their lineage through the act of creating textiles and being a part of fashion performances. In 2012, I was contacted by Darnley Island to help create their first ever wearable collection of deconstructed island dresses. This was truly a beautiful experience as well because I got to learn how the artists were creating their designs and transforming them into digital prints. Whilst creating their collection, I also was creating my own collection for the first Australian Indigenous Fashion Week held in Sydney. I got to work alongside industry people where I learned how industry standard um, fashion shows were run. However, it gave me an insight to how I would like to create a change within this space, to be more inclusive of Indigenous designers and models, and to create a space which not only showcased the end product, but the journeys of the designers and the models. The fashion performances that I curate creates a space which allows creatives like myself to come together collaboratively to work collectively together and celebrate Australian Indigenous culture. It allows us to express the stories that, that the artists are trying to tell through their textiles. In 2012, the Cairns Indigenous Art Fair contacted me to do their first ever fashion performance. This was an exciting time for me because it really shaped my work today. And here is an example of one of them. down the track, I have curated five highly successful fashion performances at the Cairns Indigenous Art Fair. I've travelled the show to Melbourne Fashion Festival, and I've just come off the back of um, presenting at the Women of the World's Conference in Catherine. 
But what I truly love about the work that I do is not the end product. It's the process of what being a part of the journey with these young women and men to, and to see the confidence that comes out of them at the end. I work with the communities and when we start, the girls come to me and they're scared and anxious to be a part of a fashion show because it's not something that they'll do on a regular basis. Their shoulders are hunched, they don't maintain eye contact and just after the two weeks of spending the time collaborating together to work together to put a fashion collection together, so many together, sorry. <laughs> we, we create this beautiful uh, performance to share with their community that they can be truly proud of and for them to show and stand up and be proud of who they are and where they come from. One story comes to mind. A young woman came running up to me after the fashion show and she was so excited and jumping with joy because her husband had never seen her in a dress before. Not only was this exciting, but also she inspired the youth to stand up and be proud and to not have any shame. The past year I've been working with an Aboriginal community called Mornington Island up in the Gulf and Carpentaria of Queensland. It's a small island with a population of about 100 people and one shop. <laughs> I work with the artists to help develop um, their techniques, which this particular community works with felting. So we create jewellery and clothes and we have so much fun seeing the, the youth wearing their clothing and also dressing up and taking their own photos. It brings tears of joy after we've done photo shoots and we can share with everyone. They're so happy to see the young ones representing their community. Young women and men within these communities don't get the opportunities that people in larger cities receive. So to create a space like this really encourages them to see that there is hope and opportunities out there and gives them a sense of self-achievement. It also creates a safe place for transgender community to come and express who they truly are. In the future, I'd like to have the opportunity to work with different communities across Australia to present to the world their stories. This last image is one of my most recent works and it's called Acceptance. And this is what I believe my whole journey and work is about and that is acceptance. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.